What is good YouTube? It's your boy DRock and I'm back with another video. Welcome all you new subscribers and if you're not a subscriber make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. Today we're going to be looking at how to properly open a brand new omnibus. Gotta stretch that spine man. You gotta stretch the spine. So we're going to crack this thing open, stretch the spine out. I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, man. Now, let's hop right into this new Omnibus. Yes. All right, for this brand new Omni opening, we got that X-Men Grand Design by Ed Pisker. Such a great X-Men Omnibus. The artwork is fantastic. Love that cover, man. So let's slice this bad boy open with my trusty Bear Grylls knife get off this shrink wrap real quick now this book the construction of it is very nice the pages are a bit thicker than a regular omnibus would have but I knew it would be a good video to show for opening a brand new X-Men omnibus or omnibus in general you got that great X-Men grand design on the cover. The X-Men. Such a very nice, nice book. Just so clean. Now this has sewn binding. Which most omnibuses have sewn binding. You'll see the smaller hardcovers will have glued binding. But this is sewn. Now you're going to want to put it against a flat surface. The spine of the book holding up the pages and basically just go one page at a time just putting them down creasing it you might hear some glue breaking a little stanley action there you're gonna go one page at a time trying your best not to see any spoilers from the story if you haven't read the book before luckily with this book i haven't read yet but it's basically you know the cliff notes kind of story of the origin and the x-men basically during the claremont saga so i'm not really too worried about seeing any spoilers as i'm opening this but yeah you're just gonna go one page at a time just about one page, two pages is all right. And you're just gonna keep on going. Keep on going, man. Now this book here is just, it's got incredible artwork. As you can see, the page coloring is different. It has more of like a vintage style look for the first half of the book. And then the back is black and white but these pages like I said are very thick um, it's definitely not what you're gonna get with most normal Omnis but the quality of this book is just incredible and it's just it's a must-have for an omnibus and X-Men fan and I just keep going one at a time man. one at a time there magneto flying in you gotta just love the panels in this book too man so you just go one page at a time creasing it down toward the center of the spine and you're gonna want to do this with basically every single omnibus you get I'm not sure, I don't really get oversized hardcovers too much. You probably don't have to do this since it's glued binding. I don't assume you would. I think this is more of a thing that you're gonna wanna do with an omnibus. But I do this for every every new book you get. You gotta do it, man. You gotta stretch that spine out. Otherwise it gets warped and weird because when you start reading it, it's gonna wanna shift towards where you started. And if you start from the beginning, obviously, your spine is going to get a little 
a little wonky. And, uh, you know, you don't want that. Or if you start from the back because you want to look at the bonus material, it, it's going to get a little bit wonky in the back and you don't want that. So once you get to about this point here, you can start grabbing a, a bit more pages. You don't have to start, you know, doing one page at a time. This is how I do it anyway. There's, there's a few techniques that I've seen out there where people, you know, stretch their omni spines out. But you're definitely going to want to do this once or twice for an omni the size of this. For a larger omnibus, maybe like the New Mutants or Onslaught or just bigger omnis like that. You're going to probably want to do it like two or three times. Start picking up the pace a little bit here in the middle. Unfortunately, this is time consuming. I know once you get a new book, you're going to want to just jump right in and start reading, but you really do have to do this. Otherwise, your book is, it ain't going to last. And you want these books to last because these, I mean, these are incredible stories with great artwork and you, you want to keep these books for a long, long time in great shape. Plus, you know, these days, a lot of people are just reading and then reselling. So you want to keep it in good shape so you can resell it afterwards. Me? I'm not reselling nothing. I'm keeping all my armies. Let's say uh, as I go through, taking a little bit more bigger chunks, getting closer to the middle. Just crazy, crazy good artwork. I love that old style. Oh, you got Sinister over there. Mr. Sinister looking all nasty. That's my fucking dude right there. So as you get closer and closer to the center of the Omni. There you go, the bigger chunks. Putting them down, letting it fall. Like I said, these pages are a little thick. So you're going to want to do this twice. So I'm going to go twice now, and then I'll show you another way. So after you've gone through the pages one by one twice, you're going to put the spine down against the table and just kind of let the pages flow freely like this. Now some people open up their omnibus and this is how they stretch the spine, but I like to do the page by page first. I'll do that twice, and then I'll do this a few times just to stretch out the spine a little more and get everything flowing good just so the spine is stretched out nicely. So I normally will do this afterwards maybe two or three times just to get everything flowing good. I said these pages are a little thick so it's a little funky doing this with this one but all in all it still works the same way and this will just make your reading experience so much better with this book it'll keep it in great shape it'll sit flat read flat and you know that's just a, a proper way to take care of that omnibus and there you have it, the book's all stretched out and ready to go. Keep reading, comic fam. Thanks for watching. We are on that Fury Road to 100 subscribers, and it is glorious. Witness! We're giving away that X Men number one CGC 9.8, along with two Funko Pops. To be entered in the giveaway, all you gotta be is subscribe to the channel like the video, and drop a comment on any video I show that mentions this giveaway. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Stay tuned for more videos. You got your spine all stretched out now. Your book's ready to go. You gotta get reading. So get to it. Y'all be safe out there. Peace!